Okay, hi guys. Um, listen, I don't generally like to talk very much about my personal life or my history. Um, every so often I will use it mainly to show people that I've got history with the things that they're going through. And so I know where you are. I know what you're trying to deal with. And mine is uh, way, 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 way bad. I'm not saying mine is any worse than anybody else's. You can have one event and it be as bad as a lifetime of events. The point in doing that is simply to let y'all know <clears throat> that I've been in your shoes and I've walked there so I can help. If you don't think I can help, then blow it off. But one of the fortunate slash unfortunate uh, um, abilities that I have is I can feel things strongly. I have telepathic abilities and I can feel this coming from everywhere so I'm just going to do a video on it one time okay so yeah I had a really bad childhood with a really a lot of bad things happen and bad marriages and bad things happened later on in my life now yes I did I have I have been this whole time aware that that childhood and those traumatic events had a negative effect on me that caused all kinds of problems that you can't even imagine. And I have, at the beginning, bookstores, libraries, eventually the internet, attempted everything that they said aside from um, treatment, psychiatric treatment or mental help of some kind. Because I was a nurse, and back when I was a nurse, we didn't talk about mental illness at all. And if you were a nurse and you even got caught going to a therapist, not even a psychiatrist, but a therapist, you couldn't get a job. That's just the way it was. Now, things have changed a lot since then, but that doesn't change the way it was then. So all of this was pretty much undercover. Secondly, uh, pretty much the way it is now, if you told cops about it and they arrested you, they tore they would tear me apart in my life. And uh, I, there was a lot of things I didn't want torn apart in my life. So, of course, I didn't turn any of them in. So, over the years, I've done a lot of things to help deal with this. And I can tell you that everybody is going to deal with it in their own way. And the books, uh, I don't think, like humans do, they like to have one answer for everything. And uh, it's just not that simple. And it uh, depends upon the circumstance and the event and a whole lot of other things. But generally speaking, I have gotten better in many of those events. And what works for me, not what works for the world. So don't say, okay, I'll go do this and it'll work for me. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that for me, what finally made an event fizzle off into not mattering anymore was confronting the person who did it and having them admit it and say they're sorry. I'm a big I'm sorry person. I mean, if you say you're sorry, even if it only means for that moment in that time, that works for me. And I was able to do that with both husbands. I was able to do it with three out of four of the adult rapes. Uh, the fourth one was very violent with a knife in a dark alley. I know that sounds cliche, but it was. So I couldn't find that person. The other three I tracked down and I confronted them and we talked it out and uh, yeah, and I believed them and it went away. Now, whether or not you believe they meant their apology or not doesn't matter to me. To me, uh, it did matter. Uh, I was not able to do it with one person from my childhood uh, two people from my childhood, well, all three people from my childhood, because my mother died without admitting anything. Uh, my father, I confronted, and he denied everything. And uh, the other person just avoided me. So those are the most difficult ones because they, I confronted them, and they denied it. Now, in the process of that, when they did deny it, I started looking around them. So I was able to talk to church members, many church members that, at different churches across the country. Remember, we moved about every year to two years my whole life. So I went and found church members. 
I went and found family members. I went to schools and I talked to my adopted brothers who were in, ended up in prison and I verified <clears throat> the facts that all of these people, all of the family members, the school people, um, I called the CPS on my parents once even when I was uh, 13 or 14. And all of these people that were around me knew something was wrong and did nothing. Uh, that's the hardest part. That's the part I think I have the most part dealing with. So the adult stuff I pretty much dealt with because I was able to go and confront these people. Uh, the Ironically, the one that was the most scary and deadly, you know, the knife in the alley thing, that affected me the least of all of them. Um, it was easier to just pull back from that and say, wrong place, wrong time. That wasn't personal. The other three adult rapes, I knew those people. And that was much worse for me personally than just, I was just unlucky. It was easy for me to say, oh, well, I was unlucky, wrong place, wrong time. So that one I pretty much discarded as just bad luck and that wasn't personal. The other ones took a lot of work. Now doing all of that has taken more time than you can possibly imagine out of my life to do what I just explained. Between the books, traveling around and talking to people, openly asking them questions at the beginning very cryptically and then with more detail and to find out that there were many, many adults around me that suspected something was very wrong and no one asked and no one did anything about it. So it just, what it did was it made it worse. So instead of being three people, now it became 3,000 people. And again, the confusion and the difficulty uh, gets worse. So I stopped because it was getting worse. It wasn't getting better. What I had done with the adult trauma was not working with the childhood trauma. So I have done the childhood trauma much more from the Naya perspective. The, I get triggered and I repeat, it's just a game, it's just a game, it's just a game, and none of that matters. So because there was so much trauma in my childhood and because it was growing instead of getting smaller, I came out at a different realm. But because there's so much of it, I'm triggered very frequently. Now, if y'all have got a better idea on how to do that, you just let me know. I'll be happy to try it. I've tried everything else, so why not? But that is what I've done and what I'm doing to make it to 5D or death. It's that simple. Um, yeah. Hopefully that will answer the questions that are zooming in the air. Uh, because I can feel them everywhere. So hopefully that will give you guys what you wanted or needed. And uh, we can move on to something else. Okay? I love you guys. Huge hugs. Talk to you later. Bye now.